Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 20N. Okay, so it says open the file that you saved in task 20N. Select from all the data only the employees who are currently working on jobs for bin account. Okay, so this uh, uh, task 20M, what I'm going to do is that the, the, I'll upload the files needed to do some of these tasks. Okay, I will do that even for other videos. I'll uh, give you guys the link on how to get the um, files you can use to work on this. Okay, okay, so we go ahead. So um, my task 20M is already open, so I'm going to probably get this guy here off and uh, save my file task 20M as task 20 and So I'm going to go to save as and then browse for my location. Of course, uh, this is my location, preferred location, so I can have, I can rename this as task 20N, okay? And then I'll save that. Okay, so the question says that we should filter, uh, more or less like filter, okay? The question says that we should actually um, select from all the data only the employees who are currently working on jobs for being account. So we're simply going to filter this data. And where we're going to place our filter will be uh, the current task where we have our being account, okay? So first of all, let me just make my data to show everything to show. So the first thing I'm going to do, there's several ways you can actually do this filter, okay? Um, the first thing I'm going to do is simply to select the data, okay? And then um, go to uh, editing group. From home, I go to editing group and then click on sort and filter. From there, I'll choose filter, okay? Once you choose filter, you see the arrows on each column or each heading, right? Good. So my interest is on current task. So I'm going to click on that on the drop down arrow, and then and then from the menu I'll select select all. So I will check and uncheck everything and simply check only the bin account and okay that and that will actually filter my uh, data by current task and then leaving uh, bin account. Okay, wherever the pin account appears. So as you can see, these are the names of those in the task, in the current task. Okay. So um, that is it for this task. And uh, this is not the only way you can actually um, you can actually um, you know filter data. Okay. Let me just undo this and show you other ways you can probably do that. Which there are so many other ways. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and then click on filter, and then the arrow arrows will leave. So sometimes if you click on the heading, just the first heading, and go to filter, that does it for you. So you can actually do the same thing. Okay. And another way you can do that, let me undo, okay, let me just simply go, go to filter, sort and filter, and then click it again. Another way is simply to click on this. So just click on, on, on the row and then simply go there again and then. So there's so many ways you can do that. Okay. So a situation where you don't see this filter here from home. And then editing uh, group, you can go to data. Okay, it is just there in data. Okay, you can see it right there. So you can click on that and then get the work done. So you can just click on here and then on check and then check exactly the match you want. And then this filter, so you can print this out. Okay, so this is how you can do this um, exercise. Okay, so if you have any question on it or if you have any addition, you can leave a comment down below. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, like and share the video, okay? Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. See you next time.